going on YouTube this is Necrostevo and it is a pleasure to finally be able to say that again uh, for those of you who watch my channel thank you you obviously stuck around during that long hiatus that I had uh, a little bit of work a little bit of oh let me put 200 hours in the moon version to make sure I get everything bred and really dig everything out and watch a lot of videos and get a lot of feedback on what I like you can see here I have a mighty or team uh, Spex Keldeo, Bandit Tapu Bulu, Specially Defensive Marowak, Physically Defensive Zapdos and Fortress, all designed around helping Mixed Minior sweep my opponent. Uh, Minior does have a lot of trouble with priority, so really it should be paired with, um, well, it's not it's not grounded, so I don't think pairing it with Tapu Lele would help. But you know, things like Caesar give it trouble, things like Conkledor, things like that. Now, thank you, Connor, for the wonderful crispy quality in this video. I did think it would be appropriate to have my longtime rival be my first battle that I upload for Sun and Moon. Uh, I didn't have any reason to overpredict in the beginning of this battle, so I just stay in and go for a spec secret sword. That's the other great thing about Sun and Moon. All those event Pokemon that I've kept over the years that didn't have perfect IVs, I can now hyper train them. Oh, I love that. Uh, he did go for Taunt there, probably expecting a Calm Mind, I would guess. I don't really want to stay in against Tapu Koko because he um, he can reasonably assume that I'm not Scarfed. Um, even if I were Scarfed, then I would be locked into Secret Sword, so... I am going to go out into Marowak, which walls Tapu Koko that lacks Hidden Power Ground or Hidden Power Water. I've seen both of those, weirdly. Um, Nature's Madness was a fantastic mid-ground play in case I did switch out, because something's lo going to lose half of his HP. Uh, I really thought he would switch out, which is why I went for Shadow Bone, that had really good neutral coverage against his whole team. But he just stays in. The balls on this man. Uh, worked out pretty well, because now he gets off another Nature's Madness, and I do finally go for Bone Ring. I really like Alolan Marowak alongside Tapu Bulu. Because that gives Marowak some form of recovery, and uh, Tapu Bulu lowers the um, oncoming earthquakes that might be headed for Marowak. Um, so that's always great. And of course, Marowak's Bone Ring is not weakened because it's not earthquake or magnitude. So that's pretty nice. Here I do switch in my banded Tapu Bulu because I wanted to see if he had fire type coverage, if he was predicting something. If he doesn't predict anything, then I'll weaken the ground type move and I'm immune to the dragon type move. He actually goes for the rock type move. So uh, we're, we have a lot of mid ground plays going on here. But Tapu Bulu takes that pretty well. Um, I wanted to switch out again here to see if he had coverage for fairy types because that is very popular with all the dragons now, whether it be Poison Jab or as we see here, Iron Head. So I do end up making a double there, but it pays off. Because uh, now I know that I'm faster, of course, because Mega Garchomp is slower than regular Garchomp. And I'd be faster than a regular Chomp, too. So I do go for a Spec Scald, hoping to pick up a burn on something. I could have gone for Icy Wind, but I figured he'd switch. Uh, and the purpose, of course, remember, Keldeo is just here to break things down as much as possible. If I had gone for a Spec's Hydro Pump, I could have knocked Galissapod into its emergency exit range, which would have been awesome. But I don't pick up the burn, unfortunately, so I'm forced to switch out. I can go into my Fortress, though, pretty safely. Uh, he does have Poison Jab, probably expecting Tapu Bulu to come back out. But why risk that when I can just go out in a Fortress? I have my Rocky Helm, and I can get some entry hazards up. It's a good time. It's a good time all around. The Liquidation does do more than I expect it to do, which shows that he's max attack, of course. Um, Stealth Rocks just help because he does have a Weavile in the back. Uh, it's worth getting up a layer or two of spikes because most of his team is grounded too. 
Now, fortunately, the uh, grass disappears, so his Golisapa will stop recovering HP. Here, I was very, very, very close to clicking Volt Switch, but I thought he would stay in and try to go for more liquidation, so I just went for spikes. Oh man, if I had been able to uh, to switch out of there, that would have been perfect. I really, I don't have a good switch into Salazzle. He can actually even go for a free Toxic if he wants to. I was hoping that he would just go for an offensive play, but he unfortunately sets up a nasty plot here, which he basically gets for free because Marowak's HP is so low now that he can't really check it. Um, it is nice though that Marowak resisted both of the stab moves coming from Salazzle, uh, but Dragon Pulse, it's good to know that that's his coverage move instead of hidden power. Uh, because Minior might be able to set up on it, I'm not really sure. Um, but I'm going to go out into Caldeo now that I know that he's life orb. I was like, maybe I can live a sludge bomb. No, no, I cannot live a sludge bomb. Uh, but we are getting life orb damage, which is pretty nice. Um, I'm going to go into Minior now because I think I can take anything because the, the Dragon Pulse is not stab. So even though it's plus two with my shields down uh, activated there. I should be able to take it, but I am just going to go, um, as he does actually end up switching out into his Garchomp, which is pretty nice. I am going to go for Shell Smash because I figured I could take any one hit from it, get knocked down into my Shields Down mode, and then hit him back because Minior, after the, uh, after it's reversed to core form, Minior has base 120 speed, so three faster than Salazzle. This Minior in particular has enough speed for base... Um, uh, I think I have just, I'm pretty sure I have enough. I think I only have an, actually, I don't know if I would have bought Spud or not. That's interesting. Because I'm not max speed. So anyways, though, um, I do end up living the Iron Head, which is amazing. Getting my core form, and then I'm able to knock him out with an Acrobatics. So that worked out really, really well. Here, I was like, oh, man, he's going to have the Ice Shard. So I end up swapping out, which is unfortunate because this was a massive bluff. He did not have Ice Shot. I should have just Power Gemmed. Um, really, even if I had lost Minior there, I, I still needed Minior to check Salazzle, which is the only reason I bothered saving it. Otherwise, I would have just risked it. But uh, I knew I still had my um, full health of that, uh, Zapdos in the back, which could take any one hit from Salazzle as well. So... Here, unfortunately, um, the Volt Switch is not going to be enough to finish him off. Really wish I was carrying Gyro Ball for that, but that's on another Fortress, of course. And so I do go into Zapdos here because I know I can take any one hit from him and KO him back with my own, with a Volt Switch, or I'm not going to bother going for Heat Wave because I don't want to miss. But unfortunately, once again, he freezes me, and that's going to be a good game because I don't have anything that can take out Weavile at this point. Uh, but Weavile should have gone down there. I would have Volt Switched, gone back out into my Minior, who would have been faster than everything that he had remaining, is what I would have done right there. Um, and then Salazzle would have come, and Salazzle probably would have dropped to a Power Gem. Uh, the, um, the Garchomp is already KO'd, the Tapu Koko is already KO'd, the Samurai's down, so that would have been a little miniature Minior sweep on the back end there, had I not gotten frozen. But all that aside, this team actually functioned the exact way that I wanted it to. Um, there are a few changes that I would like to make, such as Magneton or Magnezone over a Zapdos, perhaps. Uh, but I, I still really like utilizing these Pokemon the way that they are. Um, other team ideas that I'm going to be constructing are going to be the um, a Trick Room team, so that I can use Executor Alola form. And I also want to use all three starters in a battle together, which I actually have already done against Better Head than Smeg. So I might be posting that battle too. But this battle was still fun, despite that horrible freeze. Payback is a pain, Connor. Prepare, it is coming for you. And guys, thank you so much for watching. Expect at least an upload a week as we move into this wonderful Sun and Moon post bank um, goodness. So. If you want, if there are po certain Pokemon you want to see me use, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Uh, other than that, I'm just going to be kind of just spitballing and using whatever I want to, because that's what we normally do. And tiers are a thing. If you battle me, I'm probably just going to be using things across all tiers. I'll say OU and then use whatever 
U U R U N U. So if you need to battle me or you want to battle me, hit me up on Twitter. I still check that pretty frequently. I don't really check Skype as much anymore. Um, but I look forward to your challenge. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Goodbye now.